Hi guys, this is Ritesh and now we are going to show you some specification about the ls command. ls command is a very basic command, so everyone has know, it, know this. But for the basic and beginners, I will just uh, going to show you how to use ls command. So not wasting more time, just go on the topic. This is ls command, it will show you everything. Okay, then we will enter in our now you can see these are the ls command for case listing all the directories or anything which you have in this session just uh, create one more thing mm. Two. Three. okay ls now you can see what we are creating this is the files and these are the directories okay so now we are talking about the ls command so just check which version we are using the first command is ls that is version this is for check the ls version this is showing the version also 8.22 and the second use is ls this is for list you can see the list of the fi files and if you want to know the complete list so you can press ls hyphen l in RHL, you can check LL is the lies for this command. LL also do work, work but this is alias. Okay. Then the another example is LS hyphen LH. L is for the list and S is for the human readable format. So you can see the human readable format. This is kind, this is the root root directory and this is the permissions and these are the numbers, these are UID, this is date created date and details, okay. If you want to see the hidden files, just like ls a so you can see this is hidden files, dot and back, everything and the hidden files also. I think I have to create one hidden file, so I can show you, type, dot, Now if you press simple ls, you are not able to see that dot this and if you press ls hyphen a, now you can see this also. So in Linux also, this is the how to create hidden file and see the hidden files. Okay. Now the next example is to get the directory information. Okay. ls hyphen capital F. So if you are not able to know that which one is directory and which one is not in that file so you can use this one as hyphen f this will create a x slash mark with after the file name so you can segregate that this is the file or this is a directory okay okay if you want to see in the reverse order sorting ls hyphen r is the reverse order you can see y v t t okay and if you want to show what is in the files okay so the next command is ls hyphen capital r small r is for reverse order capital r for the c this is the directory detail and these are the contents this is directory detail these are the contents this is directory detail these are the contents so if you want to see the contents of the directory so you can press ls hyphen r okay and most of the time we, are, we have used to check the inodes also for the inodes you can also check ls hyphen i just i for inodes for any command if you want to check the gid and uid then ls hyphen n c you can see the gid uid this is not assigned any gid uid then 00, 0 it is and the best thing we can combine this command also just like uh, we are using ls hyphen lrth okay list reverse order th okay so you can see the output like that because reverse order because we want to know the last file we have created so you can see the lrth means the last file you have created the all commands you can combine also 
and the if you want to see what is if you i press if you want to see only what is in this okay in this or any other folder then you can simply write ls hyphen l whatever and slash tmp for any other folder you can see or ls hyphen l so you can uh, from the current directory you can see the other current directories contains also from the same directory okay if you want to know more about this command these are the basic commands which we use for useful for every linux administrator or any linux users but if you want to more know more about then you can type man or help you can read everything here okay let me make you more short now you can read by page by page if you write pipe space less now you can read every option but these are the main options which i have told you this can be work every anywhere so for 